What's going on guys, my name is Will Sickness and today is the day that I'm going to be teaching you how to get the best quality for your audio on Adobe Audition. Right, so let's get straight into it. So first of all, you're going to have to load up your actual Audition. So I've got mine in my pin bar as I normally use this program for every single time that I use audio, like whenever I record a YouTube video. So first of all, you got to exit our box. Uh, I used to use Audacity, but yeah, it's a free software. But I really do prefer this software, also it's a lot quicker to actually do the processes. So first of all, you're going to have to do a recording. So I'm just going to say like, hi, my name is Will Sickness. This is a test recording. Okay, so you press OK here. Hi, my name is Will Sickness and this is a test recording. Right, so now we're going to play this back. Hi, my name is Will Sickness and this is a test recording. As you can hear, that doesn't sound as... It doesn't really seem that good, does it? So, first of all, Control a it highlights all of it. And then first thing you have to go to is Effects. And then down here to Graphic Equalization, I have to find. Okay, here we go. So, Filter and EQ. And then Graphic Equalization 20 Bands. That's the first one. And then I've got uh, one saved already. So, YouTube Audio. Pause the video right here if you want to copy down all my settings. Uh, so yeah, just pause the video here. Okay, so once you have copied all those down, press apply. And as you can see, it sounds a little bit better. Let's play. Hi, my name is Rule Sickness. And this that does sound a little bit better. So next thing what we're going to do is go back to effects, filter and EQ, parametric equalization. So pause the video right here. And you can copy down all the things. So just copy down all the numbers just down here. So yeah, once you press apply, it'll go like that. Now let's listen again. Hi, my name is Rule Sickness. And see, that's sounding a whole lot better. Right. Next thing I have to do is single band compression. So we have to go ampl amplitude and compression. And then simple single band compression. Um, one reason I'm actually starting to use this software is because in September, I'll be using this software to actually like for my college course so i actually want to like get to grips with it so yeah uh pause video right here uh for the single band compression just copy down all those settings and now press apply as you can see that like it it went it down a bit and made it like it made it squeeze down so let's listen hi my name is rule sickness and this is a test recording see that does sound really really good but the thing is it's it's a bit too quiet so we're gonna have to like normalize it so normalize is basically put it up a notch kind of thing so go to effects and then we will have to go to amplitude and compression and normalize process okay and then we have to go to decibels and then make sure like oh, i remember when i did it on percent once but make sure it's on decep uh, decibels and then make sure all the settings are correct minus 0 0.10 otherwise it won't be good and then as soon as you press apply this will happen See, it just went up a ton. So now listen back. Listen back. Hi, my name is Rule Sickness, and this is a test recording. That sounds really, really good. And if you think it's too loud or anything, uh, just in your Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas, whatever you use, just turn it down. So yeah, uh, next thing you have to do is noise reduction. This is the last thing. Very, very easy. So just highlight any of it. In, all, in Audacity, you have to get like five seconds and go like that or something. For Adobe Audition, this is why I like it because you don't have to like be quite five seconds. You can literally just copy like all of that. Then you have to go to effects. Like you have to, you can't do that bit as you're talking there. You have to do a bit that you're not talking. For example, this bit. See, as you can hear the background noise because I added load effects. So yeah, go noise reduction, capture noise prints. So basically, that's yeah. Press OK, and then basically that's capturing the background noise. And then you have to do Control A, effects noise reduction noise reduction process right now all the settings have done as i did the print and then we press apply see all of us gone now listen to this you can't hear a thing hi see you can't hear a thing and audacity whatever i did to the settings like it just wouldn't do so i really do like this software and i'll listen back hi my name is rule sickness and this is a test recording Honestly, that sounds so freaking good. That's how I do all my audio. Hi, and, my and yeah, I'm I'm just honestly really really happy how 
I've got these settings. Uh, this is a really, really good software. You can zoom in like that. So if you just want to do the audio, you can zoom in like that. Um, my name is Vulsic. It's honestly a really, really good software. I really, really do like it. And yeah, um, that's it. By the way, the, the audio coming out of this video will be out of OBS as I can't run two instances of Adobe Audition CC 2017 at the same time. You just can't do it. It's it's literally impossible. So how I do it is literally yeah. So that's why the audio isn't that good for this video. But all my future videos, I'm gonna be doing like that. So yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. My name's been Will Sickness. Just thought of an idea. I might put the audio track into Adobe Audition so you can actually hear what it's gonna sound like. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. My name's been Will Sickness. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching and peace out. Much love. Goodbye.